Just listening to the old timers talk, I know my neighbor here, he would be probably 108 to 110 right about now, if he was still alive. He told me that he was 12 years old before he ever seen a deer, and he was born and raised right here next to us. I think over the years, just the management of what people did with their range and their understanding of the native wildlife, that we've increased all of our wildlife, and I think they're still increasing. The wildlife that we have in this area, the deer and the antelope and the grouse, need native ground to native grasses in prairies to survive. They were just designed that way. And if we lose that, say we turn this country all into farm ground, those species are in danger of being lost. And it's important to keep these grasslands the way they are, the native grasslands. You know, we see sagebrush and the big blue stem and the switchgrass and the grandma grasses, uh, you know, all of those sedges and stuff. All, all of these wildlife survive on that kind of stuff because they're nutrient dense. They don't need to eat a whole haystack to get through the winter. They just need to eat a little bit and they can survive. If we lose that and go all to introduce grasses or to farm ground, you know, our annual crops, wildlife will suffer drastically. You know, they can live out there for a little bit of time, but they can't live there all the time. Um, so it, it's important to keep our grasslands the way they are and not to lose any more than we already have lost. You can definitely see a change in our livestock once they go on to native pastures, how much bloom they get and how much weight they gain. And they're a lot happier. So we want to leave enough stockpiled that we don't harm any of the wildlife, any of the birds that are using it for nesting or protection and stuff like that. And that gives us enough growth for the next year to come in with our livestock and be able to use it well and the plants have time to recuperate. This ranch has a membership to the Grand River Grazing Association, which runs on national grasslands, Grand River National Grasslands, and we're part of that. Um, and that's a real important part to this area for the wildlife. Uh, those are managed so that there's plenty of feed for wildlife in large areas. Uh, there's like 153,000 acres in Perkins County and Corson County that are national grasslands. These areas are managed by the Grazing Association and the Forest Service. And, and we always look for how much feed that we can leave for wildlife and still support these ranches that r operate on them. There are uh, couple of bigger areas that have a lot of deer on them uh, around Shade Hill along with a lot of grouse. There's a lot of grouse on the grasslands. People come from all over to hunt grouse on, on these grasslands so it, it's a real important part of the environment for wildlife in Perkins and Corson County. We run a cattle and a sheep outfit here at the Darling Creek Ranch. It's uh, managed intensive grazing. We try to move our livestock um, every day to every seven days to manage the grass and the resources that we have. That in turn gives the wildlife an opportunity to be on grasses or places on this ranch that have not been used in the recent past, has had lots of rest or even on the regrowth where we've just come from. We notice that um, a lot of the wildlife like to be on that regrowth 
and it seems to help them increase in numbers. When I was younger, we didn't have such intensive grazing habits. We were staying in pastures just a little bit longer than we are now. We weren't splitting pastures up to give that grass recovery. With splitting pastures and moving a little bit faster, that grass has time to recover and it gives that wildlife a little extra feed. They can kind of lag behind all of our livestock and they're reaping the benefits of that regrowth. We're just managing grass. We use livestock as our source to provide us income, but we're here to sell grass. Um, and in order to do that, we have to manage it correctly for everything that uses it. Uh, wildlife, our domestic animals, the bugs in the soil and the bugs above the ground and everything, it's all tied together. It, it's pretty important for us to see that and to show the next generation that, uh, you know, we've educated our kids on that and we've also, we're, now we've got grandkids that uh, we teach these things to and show them and hopefully someday that they'll be in the same position we are, that they can improve things more than we've improved them. When you're out riding, you get to see everything and anything and you can take the time and watch the wildflowers grow, the grass change, you know, see where the deer are going through and the antelope are going through and growing up in front of your eyes. It's just really peaceful to be able to see that.